Our hockey program is one of the most involved teams that we have here at Michigan State. And the nice thing is, is that not only do all of the team members participate, they also have over the years been a team that creates different outreach. It's awesome knowing that we can go out and make a difference and um, you know, help people out by you know, being on the hockey team. For me the biggest thing is it really does make a difference and sometimes you, know, you can overlook that but um, in the end you know, it's a lot easier to do these kind of community things when you get to see the end result and see how appreciative families are. When I, when I first got here, everyone kind of saw the scar on my forehead and a lot of people were afraid to ask. I guess the prime minister kind of got closer. Um, yeah, I told some of the guys what happened. Giving back is like a huge part of our team and I would take a lot of pride in it and I feel like it's uh, just another way that I can help uh, give back to the community. Our hockey program is one of the most involved teams that we have here at Michigan State. And the nice thing is, is that not only do all of the team members participate, they also have over the years been a team that creates different outreach. I guess it really all started um, back with Drew Miller. Initially he started a um, program called Spartan Buddies where our student athletes went and would volunteer at the pediatric ward at Sparrow Hospital. And again, it was started by hockey, but then all sports have joined that, that outreach and they get trained and, and go and visit. And then from there, working with some of those children, Justin Applicator and Dan Sturgis realized that we need to do more to give back to these children. So they really wanted to raise money and started what's called Shoot for a Cure. And we do various fundraisers like Chuck a Puck uh, is one that, that has gone on. Um, that they came up with. They really want to push to get that to raise money for the children's cancer. And then from there, I believe the next one that, that came about was the Student Athlete Food Drive, by, started by Chris Forfar and Tori Krug. And that actually, they were freshmen when they came to me with that idea, which is really awesome for, for freshmen to take that lead in. So it's, it's the Student Athlete Food Drive, but it was started by the hockey program. Um, and then the other event that, that we do, the Teddy Bear Toss, is one that they really pushed a few years back. Jeff Lurg and Justin Applicator were key in trying to get that to take place here as well. Um, freshman year, Tori and I, we were uh, bouncing a bunch of ideas off of each other, trying to create something for our own that the class of 13 could start. We came up with the idea of a food drive, and we both decided it was a good idea. Tori already had a model, which he had used previously in high school, and we kind of just ran with it. You know, I think it's a big part of our team, uh, giving back to the community. We're always looking for new ways to get out there and help out, and we are uh, currently active in teams for Toys Witch. We adopt a family. We, we partner with the Salvation Army, and um, we adopt a family, and we raise money as a team. And then uh, once we get all the money, we go out and buy their, their Christmas gifts for their kids. And One of our off days, me, Umayan, and Wolfie went out and shopped uh, at Toys R Us for the kids and got them Christmas gifts. and we. I had quite a bit of fun in the process. Yeah, well, I mean, I was trying to put together, you know, a group of guys that could uh, efficiently get the job done together. So it was me, Justin Humayan, um, and Michael Ferentino. And so we had the list. You know, we didn't really know what to expect because some of the things on the list I've never heard of before. But um, we went there and started looking around. At first, it was slow. Couldn't really find what we were looking for. But we actually had a great time doing it. So. I mean, Ferentino's still a young kid, so in the Toys R Us, you know, he kind of excels in that environment, and I think he was kind of dragging Humayun into it as well. Right, it was fun to, to get out and do something different. Um, you know, going to Toys R Us, we, you know, me and Humayun had a little you know, stick horse race and stuff like that. Wolfie, do unicorns fly? Yeah. Yeah, I imagine. I'm just gonna have to beat him on the ground there. <laughs> So it was a lot of fun, good relaxing day. Well, that's a job well done right there. Yeah. Well, got off to a rough start, but I think we really pulled through in the end. Giving back is, is kind of ne a necessary thing to happen, and it's nice to know that walking in here, giving back to the community that supports us so much is, is richly ingrained in, in the Michigan State Hockey Program.
giving back is like a, a huge part of our team and um, we take a lot of pride in it and I feel like it's uh, just another way that I can help uh, give back to the community and help other people in situations that um, are less likely than ours and that um, need a little bit more help. So um, I feel like giving back um, by donating blood could really help save someone's life or um, someone going through cancer or anything like that, just something that can save their life. Back April 16th, uh, 2010, um, my season had just ended. I uh, thought I was kind of invincible. Uh, I went back home, had my friends over. We had a, like a, um, a party with like, my whole community. It was just kind of like, like little kids and everything. We were roasting marshmallows. Um, everything was going great. It was just a, it was a nice summer day. Um, next thing I know, I had to go drive my friend home back to downtown Calgary. So. I'm head out, it's about 10.30, 11 o'clock, and um, just kind of being a kid, I guess, not really paying attention, um, kind of caught the curb, and the next thing I know, I was just kind of holding onto the wheel, kind of for dear life, and I hit the, hit the median, uh, ended up rolling uh, three or four times into the, the opposite ditch. I just remember seeing my face, kind of like seeing the blood and stuff, and first thing I thought I'd do, I should, I should, I should just call home. Um, I don't know why I didn't call 911, but the first thing I thought to do was just call home. So um, I called home. First, the first person I picked up was my mom, and um, I just told her I'd been in an accident. I was trying to be calm because I didn't want her to worry. And um, about then, I didn't really know how serious it was until uh, I kind of looked up into the rearview mirror and just kind of saw what was really going on with my face. I was fortunate enough I had an ambulance behind me um, that probably saved my life. I was bleeding out pretty quick and uh, next thing I know the paramedic's right there. He breaks, breaks the window of my car and kind of pulls me, pulls me out of the car and um, from there it's just kind of a blur and as soon as I realized like what was kind of going on I just um, I didn't know what to do. I knew, I knew my friend was okay. They were completely fine so I didn't really have much to worry about after that so I just next thing I, know, I was just kind of like fighting for my life. I guess. The ambulance kind of came right away, and um, thank God they, were, they were kind of had, they had blood on them. Actually, already had a patient in their ambulance, but um, his wasn't too serious, so they ended up taking him out of the ambulance, and then he waited for a, for a new one, and I had to ride with that one. But yeah, they, um, they came with blood, and uh, I just kind of remember uh, like fading out. It's, it's a weird feeling; just all your muscles just kind of feel like they're gasping for like their last kind of breath almost. Next thing I know, a paramedic stabbed me instantly in the, with an IV, and I kind of remember feeling like a cool feeling. It was, um, it was just somebody else saving my life um, by donating blood. Uh, I just remember kind of waking up in the hospital to my family uh, right away. Uh, when I was kind of awake, I had my dad. I, I had him squeeze my foot just to make sure that uh, I could still feel it. As soon as he kind of squeezed my foot, it was kind of nice to know that I could I still had that. At that point, I didn't really know too much of what was going on. It was just kind of like a lot of CAT scans and CT scans and MRIs and just everything, just kind of to make sure everything was all right. As soon as, as, soon as the results came back, it was, uh, they were probably, in the worst case scenario, they're probably like the best results that I probably could ask for. It's awesome knowing that we can go out and make a difference and. Um, you know, help people out by, you know, being on the hockey team. People are excited to, you know, whether it's, you know, meet and greets with fans or going out and doing things like Teams for Toys or the food drive or stuff like that. It's awesome to be in that position to be able to help out. I guess a sense of pride knowing that you can help other people out. We're in the position where we have a lot of help and support from the athletic community to use our power and weight to do something that's so good for people that can't help themselves. I think for me the most uh, rewarding thing that I see is how much everybody is getting from the experience. So, so obviously people think about the individuals receiving the gifts or the visit or, or what the case may be. So they think about the, ch the child. But when you see a parent and you know they are so excited 
for their child to be happy. So you see the parent and how it impacts them. And then I see on the flip side, the student athletes and, and what a positive impact all of this has on them, how, how they feel when they're able to give back to people. It really makes a difference in, in their lives as well. So I get to see the whole picture. You don't really know how much you need something like that until you're, you're put in that situation and then you're, you're really thankful for the people that do that. And um, I just like really appreciate all the people that do it that really haven't gone through a traumatic experience. I just do it for um, the purpose of doing it. So it's through saving somebody's life and it ended up saving mine. So now I feel like I should give back. Um, now that I was so lucky that I'm still here that I should uh, keep going back and donating blood to help other people's lives. Well, I think uh, it's just really important to us. I think um, a lot of guys, you know, know that a lot of families don't have it as good as we have it and we think that we're a pretty blessed group of guys so for me the biggest thing is it really does make a difference and sometimes you know you can overlook that but um, in the end you know it's a lot easier to do these kind of community things when you get to see the end result and see how appreciative families are.